Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Let's get ready for the holidays together. Today I'm going to be putting together a festive holiday inspired makeup look, hopefully inspire you for your Thanksgiving day makeup. And I'm going to be using some of my favorite holiday makeup, old and new. I went digging into the vault for some of these pieces. I'm starting with skin prep and I'm almost done with my Lancome Renergy HPN 300 peptide cream. I've been using this during the day and I really like it. I would say I have maybe two weeks left, but it's really good. And I know I have viewers from all over the world watching my channel, so you may or may not be officially celebrating Thanksgiving with your family this week. Even if you are not celebrating, I want each and every one of you to know that I am incredibly thankful for you. This has been such a challenging year for so many people and I am incredibly grateful for this community. I should really say it more often, but I hope you all realize how much I appreciate you and how grateful I am for your support, always watching, leaving comments. They do not go unnoticed. I'm a one man show, so I don't always get to respond to every single comment like I used to, but I see them, I read them, and I'm just really grateful. Next, I'm going in with my favorite eye cream. This is the Colleen Rothschild Illuminating Tinted Eye Cream. I use this just about every single morning. You know, usually this is the time of year that our schedules start to get extremely busy and it's usually really stressful, very hectic energy around Thanksgiving and the holidays, but I always try to make time for myself to reflect and enjoy the holiday and not let it get too stressful and really remember what it's all about anyways which is spending time with family not worrying about the little things that truly don't matter in the big picture we are going round two with this house labs triclone skin tech foundation i've only used this one other time and it was on camera i was testing it for the first time i picked up shade can i find it 250 light medium neutral and a lot of the comments said that's way too dark for you so i have sunless tanned you can kind of see by my little cutout here i am pretty bronze i don't know if it was just the shade that threw me i also think i used way too much product the first time around overall i was still happy with the end result of the makeup but i don't think i fell in love with this foundation i'd like to try it again and see what happens i'm gonna do one full pump and that's it my skin is looking pretty good at the moment, no major issues or concerns. And I actually think my overall skin tone is looking much better, much more even, since I did micro needling a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, I will not be enjoying a home-cooked Thanksgiving meal this year because my family has a tradition of traveling for Thanksgiving, which makes me laugh when I say it out loud because traveling for Thanksgiving is usually the worst time to travel. And that's become our vacation of the year. So we travel with my parents. Originally, it started out that we would go to New York City every year and enjoy the lights. And they usually put up the Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center and everyone starts to decorate. So it always looks really Christmassy and festive for the holidays. And then since the pandemic, we've been branching out and trying new places. So one year we went to Asheville, North Carolina, which was beautiful. I could definitely go back there again. Very serene and peaceful and very different, obviously, from Miami. So it's kind of nice to feel cool, crisp weather, see the change of the leaves on the trees. Last year, we went to Savannah, which was really cool. That was my first time ever visiting Savannah and... It was really beautiful. We had amazing food. We've been really lucky. Every year we've traveled, we always find a restaurant that serves a traditional Thanksgiving dinner and it's usually amazing. So you get to enjoy really great food, company, conversation, but then you don't have any of the cleanup afterwards. So it's kind of worked out. We've done Nemecolon in Pennsylvania a couple years, if anybody's familiar. So pretty. I'm already feeling much better about the foundation. I think that's what it is. I applied way too much because it was looking a little bit heavy. It was just not sitting very nice on my cheeks. I felt like it was emphasizing my pores and this time it's still very shiny and reflective, but it's not as bad. I do think I ran out of foundation. I might need a little bit more for the forehead, but I'm certainly not gonna do a second pump, just a little bit. This year we decided as a family to go out west. We've been talking about it for a long time and then just never made it happen. So we're gonna be spending the first few days in Zion, Zion National Park. 
I'm pretty sure I've been to before, but it was a long time ago. I think I was a kid and I don't remember anything. And then we're going to spend the last few days, including Thanksgiving in Las Vegas. I really don't remember the rationale or the reasoning behind Vegas. We've done Vegas before as a family and I don't know, when I think of Thanksgiving and the holidays, that's one of the last places I think of. So we'll see, I really have no expectations. For now, I'm gonna skip ahead to the eyes and then we'll come back later and finish the face. So I'm going to begin with one of my favorite product launches of 2023. This is the Merit Beauty Solo Shadow in the shade Vachetta. It is amazing. I use it just about every single day. The color is perfect. It's a great, easy, one and done eyeshadow and it just acts as a really nice base underneath any makeup look you're doing. The best part is the formula goes on really sheer. So it's easy to blend. It doesn't crease, it doesn't add texture. It doesn't look heavy on the eyelids, which is amazing. I'm applying this all over the lid up to the crease and a little bit in the crease. And you really don't even need a brush to blend this out. I could just tap it out with my fingers, but the brush is a little bit more mess free. The last few years we've traveled, we haven't been in any major cities or we haven't been around any big shopping malls or shopping districts for Black Friday. The last time I did any in-person Black Friday shopping was years ago in New York City and I'll never forget because nobody else wanted to get up early and go with me but I woke up bright and early and I walked down to Barney's. They were having a big blowout sale before they sadly closed down but I was able to make it to Barney's New York before they closed and I got a pair of beautiful boots drastically marked down. I think I also picked up some makeup, I believe. I think the makeup was 60, 70% off, so I stocked up on some Buy Terry products. This year, seeing as we're gonna be in Las Vegas for Black Friday, I feel like I need to celebrate again. I need to get back out there. See what deals there are to be had. Unless you're shopping for electronics, maybe a new computer or a giant television or something like that, I'm not sure it's really worth shopping in person anymore. I am going into my Duo Lumiere highlighter from Chanel. This is a little bit too sparkly for me on the cheek, so I'm gonna try this on the eyes. What do you guys think? Is it worth shopping for Black Friday? Have you been impressed by any of the deals that you're seeing? I have already received so many emails about early Black Friday deals. I think over the years it's just gotten earlier and earlier and earlier, and now there really is no such thing as Black Friday, it's just, kind of two weeks of sales and being bombarded with emails. At least when it comes to beauty and clothing, you can already get a lot of really great online deals right now. We did the lighter shade on the inner lid. I'm gonna do the darker shade or this really pretty taupe on the outer lid. I'm gonna share all of my favorites with you. I'm gonna pop them up on the screen and then I will also continue to update the description box just in case I see something really interesting. But as far as beauty is concerned, if there's anything you have your eye on at Sephora, of course they do have markdowns and they will have a really nice sale section. But if there's anything else maybe that you forgot or you realized you wanted to pick up as a gift for somebody and you missed out during the holiday savings event, Sephora is doing their gifts for all and fragrance for all again this year. So what that means is December 1st through the 12th is gifts for all and it's a one-time use coupon. It's 20% off for everybody. I'm sure there might be some exclusions. Like I doubt you can buy five Dyson Airwrap, something like that, but it's basically the same as the holiday savings event. So if you've had your eye on something or maybe you wanna go ahead and pick up gifts now for other people, 20% off, it's a one-time use, so you have to you know, really build your cart wisely, but you have from the 1st through the 12th to use it. And then it works on fragrances the 13th through the 24th, I believe, 20% off. Now, depending on what you're shopping for, you might actually be able to get a better deal at either another retailer, like a department store, or even the brand website. For example, I know Benefit is having 30% off site-wide, all of my brow products that I use throughout the year, I'm constantly restocking are benefit. I think 30% is probably one of the best discounts you can get, especially on their value sets, which are already sometimes 40 or 50% off or a buy one, get one half. And then to get 30% on top of the discount is the best way to go. This highlighter is so shimmery. It really does look like little sequins on the eyes. And see on the eyes, I think it looks really pretty because it goes on almost sheer. On the cheeks, it's maybe a little bit too much sparkle for me. 
If anyone is in the market for Shantikai products, they are offering 25% off site-wide. I pulled up the details. So their Black Friday sale is the 23rd through the 26th, 25% off on Cyber Monday, which is running the 27th through the 30th, also 25% off. I really like the holiday collection this year from Shantikai, but besides their special limited edition pieces, I think the Longest Lash Mascara is one of their best products. That is something I would recommend and always try to wait for a discount. I have a handful of all-time favorite mascaras and the Shantikai is one of them. It's actually one of the best. Last night I was looking through the list of Ulta Black Friday sales and I really didn't see anything that amazing that caught my eye. A couple of the nail polishes from OPI were really pretty colors, but nothing that amazing, nothing that made me feel like, oh, this is a good Black Friday deal. I need to shop now. I guess one of the pros or good things about a lot of the brands kind of showing their hands early and starting their sales early is that they go on for a longer period of time. It's no longer just that one day, like you have to shop that one day and what you get is what you get. You can kind of see what everybody's doing and then take your time to be really strategic. It's really easy to get caught up in the hype of the sales and feel like, oh, you must be getting a great deal because it's Black Friday, but you can almost always find just as great of a discount or sometimes even better deals closer to Christmas or even after the holidays. I look crazy. I've spread my concealer. I'm gonna let this sit and dry down for a minute and then I'm gonna come back, spritz my face with setting spray and keep blending. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, the very best from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm really not in the market for any clothing either. I haven't been doing a lot of clothes shopping. I did purchase a couple dresses from J. Crew. They are so cute. I am so impressed. They have the cutest things, especially for fall, winter, and the holidays. If you haven't checked out J. Crew in a long time, definitely worth checking out. I'm sure they're having a big sale. I also picked up a half zip sweater that I can take with me on our trip. For clothing, there are three retailers that I'm going to check out for Black Friday. The first already has their Black Friday deals, and that's Saks. Every once in a while, Saks does their 40% off or their big designer sale, and occasionally you can find some really great things. I will show you what's in my shopping cart at the moment. I have a couple pieces in my shopping cart. They have this really cute set from Love Shack Fancy. In fact, their selection of Love Shack Fancy is really good. They have a lot of really pretty evening wear at the moment. I don't really have any, any place to wear stuff like that, but really beautiful evening dresses. Whenever Saks has sales like this, I can usually find some cute pieces from Zimmerman, Cult Gaia, some of those special pieces that you keep in your closet for a really long time. And then on my wish list, I have a pair of Prada loafers, which I can't bring myself to purchase. Maybe I'll ask for my husband to get them for me for Christmas, I don't know. But I really like the look of these Prada loafers. And then I have a pair of boots from Louboutin. They're black and white. I love that color combination. Anytime I see black and white and their knee-high boots, they look so beautiful. I cannot justify the price, but they're gorgeous, so I just keep them in my cart. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This is a really cute sweater that I picked up on sale. I got mine from the 260 sample sale online. It's so beautiful. This is from Love Shack Fancy. I saw this on sale at Saks as well. And I may bring this with me on our trip. I think this might be my Thanksgiving outfit with a pair of white pants, a shirt underneath, and then some sort of neutral or cream coat on top because it's supposed to be really cold. And I like that it's nice and thick, but I just really like the colors and it has little hearts on it. And then the buttons down the center are gold and sparkly. So I think this is kind of pretty for a holiday sweater, a holiday outfit, I don't know. And then this is the little half zip sweater that I picked up from J. Crew. This is also really soft and I believe it was 40% off. So I got a pretty good deal on it. And I just don't have a lot of sweaters like this that you can just throw on and they go with everything. I don't really have a great fall winter clothing selection as you can imagine. So when I find classic pieces like this that aren't trendy that I know I'm gonna be able to wear every single year, the few times of year I pull them out, I kind of spring for them and I just really liked this color. So this is also going to come with me. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Chanel loose powder, of course. I did see a couple good things available at Nordstrom. Nordstrom is another one. They already have their Black Friday sales. 
They might add to it on Black Friday, but I doubt they're going to have any sort of major discount that you're really missing out on. They have some really cute Uggs on sale. They have the really pretty Zella set that I picked up during the anniversary sale. It is still available on sale, Markdown. They always have good sportswear, loungewear. They have some cute pajamas. I wasn't looking as hard at Nordstrom because I'd already filled my cart at Saks. Haven't checked out just yet. I probably will before this video goes live. The only other place I might look and I'll probably do a little online shopping is Bloomingdale's just because I truly think they have one of the best loyalty programs. If you sign up for their free loyalist program, every once in a while, and it's almost all the time, they have deals where if you spend like $100, you either get $20 back or they send you a $25 gift card to use in the future. And you can put it towards beauty, you can put it towards fragrances. So I bought a pair of shoes a couple months ago and they sent me a $50 gift card and I don't think it expires until sometime next year. So I may use it now, I may wait and see if I can stack up more Loyalist gift cards to use all together on something big. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the Tiger Palette from last year, but actually I wanna say this was actually the Elephant Palette, which is one of the most popular. The shade is Lustrous Bronze Light, so it might be available in other palettes as well. I'm always curious what your plans are, if you're gonna do any Black Friday shopping, if you're staying home, doing everything online, or if you're going to venture out to the stores. Maybe you're sick of it this year, or maybe you're planning to take advantage of all of the deals. Let me know if you have a strategy and where you are shopping, if you've seen anything that I haven't seen, because I keep opening every email waiting to be wowed and there just hasn't been anything. The only other thing I can think of is maybe homewares, maybe home goods, Wayfair. I saw Pottery Barn is having a sale, but it's probably on everything else that I don't really want. You know, it's hard to find something that's like a site-wide sale for furniture. That would be nice if I can find any good sales for home stuff, maybe Anthropology. they usually have a good sale. And I have been picking up quite a few pieces. Actually today we have a delivery scheduled for a really pretty cabinet from Anthropology that I'm really excited about. It wasn't on sale, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's beautiful, so. That's really the only department we're really in the market for, is home stuff. I have not started my holiday shopping. I haven't purchased a single gift for family. I have gifts for friends already done. Friends are really easy because they love beauty too, so I can always gift them beauty things. But my family, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get my parents, what I'm gonna get my husband. I really wanted to use something from Dior. I feel like it's been a long time since I've touched any of my Dior makeup. And I found this snowflake blush from a couple years ago. This is the Rouge Blush from the Golden Knights collection. Do you remember? I really like this blush shade, so we're gonna use this today. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, a little shimmer, which is so pretty. Ooh, and it has such a pretty sheen. That's beautiful. The finish is so nice. I don't think the shade is overly unique. I'm sure you have something similar, but I love the sheen. Really pretty. This is another old favorite from Shantikai from a couple years ago. This is the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder, their gold highlighter. The highlighter this year looks extremely similar. I think it's probably the same, just different packaging, but it is such a pretty formula and a really beautiful gold. Because I still have this one and I love it so much, I didn't pick up the highlighter, but I picked up everything else, the face powder, the eyeshadow, and the lip gloss from Shantika. I haven't even touched those products yet. It's been a while since I've used this. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. Ooh, it's so pretty. <gasps> I love it. I think I might actually prefer the packaging from this year's collection. The gold leaf is so nice. They always do a really good job with the holiday collection. It's always really pretty. The cheek almost looks wet afterwards because it's so shiny. And I always like to do a little highlighter right above the brow as well. I quickly filled in my eyebrows. We're almost done with the eyes, just a few finishing touches. So I think I'm gonna just go into the bronzer with this Sephora 18 brush. 
I'm gonna buff this below the lower lash line. Anytime you can use face products on the eyes or sort of incorporate them somehow, I think it makes the look really cohesive because you have similar tones, similar colors, so everything just comes together really nicely. For eyeliner, in the waterline, I've been using this Optic Intensity Eyeliner in Deep Bronze Shimmer from House Labs. I feel like I've been using this eyeliner for months in the waterline and I have not sharpened it, so it's going to last such a long time. I'm using this Marc Jacobs Really Skinny Brown Eyeliner and I'm gonna tight line the top lash line. Ooh, I don't wanna accidentally poke myself. I want to do all of the little details. Ooh, I think that's the delivery truck. Yay, our delivery is here. I did a very teeny tiny wing on the upper lash line with this KVD tattoo liner. This is a brown, very small. And then the last thing for eyes is lashes. I'm about to state the obvious, but I've been putting to use my eyelash curler that I picked up from Chanel. And it does make a huge difference. I think I am so late to this party. I never thought it was that big of a deal to curl your lashes. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but I've seen so many people using their eyelash curler every single time. So I picked this one up and I do really like it. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm almost done with this Tower 28 Make Waves mascara. I've really liked it. I really like any mascara that allows you to get separation because that's, I think, where I struggle the most. I have a decent amount of lashes, the length is okay, but I hate when they get really clumpy because then it looks like you have less. I prefer for each individual hair to get some mascara. So I really like this wand, it allows you to separate. I've had it open for a couple months, but I did feel like it started to dry up pretty quickly, but maybe that's because this is the first mascara in a while that I've used consistently every day. During the Sephora holiday savings event, I did end up picking up just a few more of their lip liners. This was the only thing I haven't showed you yet. This is the Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I picked up shade 11, it's cherry. I love the formula. I also picked up a nude and a pink because the price is so good. I think they're maybe 16 or $17. They might be $13 and then they're 30% off. But I don't think I've tried this red yet. They're so smooth and creamy. We are doing the ultimate red, none other than 99 Pirate this is the classic red. And it goes perfectly with that lip liner. That's the one thing about red is that there's no real margin for error because you can really see everything. Whereas with nude, you can kind of just slap it on. Maybe it's the sparkles on the eyes, the red lip, but I am ready for the holidays. I cannot wait to stuff my face and explore Vegas and do some hiking and just enjoy some family time. And I sincerely hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving holiday. I really like how everything came together. I definitely like the House Labs foundation a little bit more today. I'm still not sure it's my number one all-time favorite best foundation ever created, but it is pretty. I'm happy I was able to make it work for me. I don't remember how it lasted the first time around, but I'll be curious to see how this makeup holds up throughout the day. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for getting ready for the holidays with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked seeing the process. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I always love hearing your plans and what you're up to for the holidays. So drop me a comment. We will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box, along with pinned to the screen, just in case you're more of a visual person. Some people prefer little photos, so you might see little pop-ups here and there. But for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.